Good day and welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Anami and I'm a Procon Technical Consultant. Today we will look at video 4 of my Sumo demo series. What we will be focusing on in this video is the meshing and running the analysis of a Sumo model. If I look at the model that I created in my previous three videos, Okay, so you can see that we already have a model here. In the previous video, we created loads and load cases and load combinations. I just turned the visibility off um, so that we can see our slabs and the meshing a bit better. If I now go to messages, you can see here that it's telling me my slabs need to be meshed before I can proceed. If I click on the find button, it selects the slab that isn't meshed and it brings it forward and so on. So you can see as I select my find buttons, then it brings my slabs forward. So there are two ways in which you can mesh a slab. You can either select your slab and click on mesh. You can select multiple slabs and click on mesh. Or you can go to modify and then click on mesh all. Now before we do that, I just want to show you if I select my slabs, under properties, you'll see there's a mesh size. Okay, so um, this, that just determines the size of your shell elements. Okay, so let's do that and I'm just going to click on mesh. Okay, and after the meshing has completed, you can see that my errors are gone now. If I now go to my discretized model here at the top and I zoom in, you can see there is my mesh on all of my slabs. Another thing that I just also quickly want to demonstrate is let's say you had a wall over here. Uh, let's draw it on this. If I had a wall there, and I'm, I'm just going to go to mesh all again. So modify, then mesh all. And if I then look at the discretized model, and I zoom in, you can see that the corners of the shell elements do come together. So if I, let's say I make this mesh size a bit smaller, it's, you can see that it still keeps that connectivity for you. Okay, and it also cuts out around the, the columns. So I'm just going to select that wall and delete it. And then as soon as you make a change to something, the mesh will disappear. So I can just mesh that slab again. Okay, so after the meshing is done and we don't, do not have any errors anymore, I can go to analysis here at the top. And I can go to analysis settings first and you can see all of your analysis types that are available. For this video, I'm just going to do a quick linear analysis. So I'm going to leave it at that. And then I'm going to click on solve. So it's just asking me, do you want to save changes to your model? I'll just say yes and run my analysis. Okay, so now my analysis is complete and you'll see the results option on the left hand side that was grayed out is no longer grayed out anymore. So now we can go to our results. Okay, so first up we have displacement. Okay, I can go to under load group, I can change my load group to combination one or combination two, and you can see how the results change. I can maybe just turn the multiply to 50, just to see it a bit clearer. Okay, so it's still the same values, it's just exaggerated a little. If I hover over a node, you can see that it gives me my X, Y, and Z reflection at that point, as well as my total displacement. You can also enable contours, which works well for slabs. So on your slabs, you can see where your displacement will be the most. Next up, we have the reactions. This just gives you your reactions at your basis. So you have your X force, Y force, X moment and Y moment at your basis. And then we have beam forces. Beam forces shows you your actual force, X moment, Y shear, Y moment and so on of your beam elements. Okay, so let's say I can go to actual and you can also filter these results out. Let's say I only want to view my beam forces or for my columns. I can go to filter, say none, and then I want to say columns. And obviously now I have steel columns and concrete columns. So I'm going to say, I'm going to filter it out by section start, and then I'm going to choose steel column. And you can see in the model space, it gives you your steel column and it gives you your actual forces in your steel columns. And you can do that for X moment, Y moment, and so on for all the other results as well. So next we have our grid view, which I also just want to show. Okay, so I'm just going to turn this filter on, reset the filter again. Okay, and then under grid view, you, you can go and you can go and filter out the results that you want to see. So under nodes, I'm just going to go to, let's say I want to only see deflections. 
And you can see that it gives you your X, Y, and Z deflections for each and every node as well as your load cases and load groups. And you can filter this out as well. You can go to load group. And let's say I only want to see load combination two, it will only show me the deflections for load combination two and so on. So you can see here, you can really go and filter out your results. You can use the smaller and larger than values as well. This tab is the shells, your results on your shells. Okay, and if I open that, you can see your membrane forces, plate forces, reinforcements, which gives you your reinforcement requirements, as well as your wood armor moments that is used for calculating your reinforcement requirements. Okay, so you can see there's your moments and then your reinforcement requirements as well. Okay, you can cycle between these ASX top, ASX bottom, and so on. These values can also be sent to your reports. So you can click on send to reports and it takes a screenshot and sends it to your report, which you can then edit over here. You can type in or you can send it to Word, you can change your font and so on and customize it according to your company standard. In my next video, we will look at the design link, just the basics of it. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Remember, Procon is an Autodesk Gold Partner and Authorized Developer Training and Certification Center. Please make sure to follow us on social media to get the latest news and updates and visit our website at www.pro.